Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How about you, Graciela? How are you? Thank you, teacher. I'm very well. I was studying all the time. Excellent. I really like I'm that. Trying to learn. Ver. Repeat and repeat. Here I I was writing. Okay, so you memorize lines. Excellent. Let me tell you that that's a really good activity because in that way you're learning simple past and the past participle form writing the verb and at the same time you are memorizing them why because you start for example we be was where be be was where he yes. probably five times and with that's enough and that's really good excellent i really like that i was uh, from all the time uh, in the afternoon i begin like uh, 40 40 30 until 15 minutes ago ah, okay I that's really nice excellent okay i, I really see. want to learn <laughs> yes um i have there an activity as well for you that i wish i might share tomorrow probably because in that way, I know that it will help you a lot with irregular verbs, okay? I was going to send it to you today, but because I had an appointment, I couldn't. I just sent to you the list of regular and irregular verbs that I had promised yesterday. So that was the only thing that I was able to do, okay? And today we are going to make a review of everything that we studied during the week. Okay, if you remember, we studied the simple past tense for regular verbs, irregular verbs. We also studied how to make um, affirmative, negative, and interrogative statements. And that's something that we are going to be practicing today, okay? Okay. Okay, so what are we going okay, to do? Yes. Um, so just to make sure that you've been studying and that you've been learning, I have here my cards. So you should probably tell me the simple past and past participle form of some verbs. Okay. So let me just... Okay. Go ahead and do it. For example, I, I got them all. Okay, los tengo todos. So this time I haven't selected any of the verbs because I yesterday I could see that you were studying and that you learned or that you have learned some of them, and that's really good. So let's see with the first one. Okay, this is the first one that I have. Spend. Spend. Okay. Um, spent. Okay. Spent. Spent. And the other one, let's see. I think it's the same. Spent too. Yes. Spent. Excellent. Let's see another. Okay, we have breathe. Freeze, uh, let me see, freeze. Uh, the last one I remember that is frozen. Because yes, movie. like the movie, I, I excellent. Don't, I don't forget because it's okay. a movie. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Sarita. The other one is broke. Perfect, yes, we have freeze, yeah. broke. Frozen, as the movie, Gross. as Gross said. and frozen. Yes, excellent. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, 
okay? Write. Read. Write. Um, every, I, write. Write. Draw. Write. Too. And. Uh -huh. Writing. Reading. Okay. Reading. Yes. Reading. Yes, excellent. We have write, draw, rhythm. Okay. Perfect. Let's see the next one. Ah, this one is easy. Break. 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 Uh-huh. Okay. Easy, right? That was easy. Yes, yeah, so let's see another one. Okay, just give me two seconds. And here it is. We have bet. It's good. Bet, bet and bet, I believe. Excellent. It is the same. It's the same, yes. Yes, and then we have win. Win, won, and let's see, win, won, and... And won. I don't remember. Okay. Won. Yes, excellent, the same. Win, won, won. Oh, okay. Won, won. okay. Yeah, they are easy. Send. Uh-huh. And send. Okay, yes. And the last one, let's see. Ah, easy. Say. Say. And say. Say, say. Okay, excellent. Okay, I can see that, yes, you've been doing homework and that's really nice. Excellent, I really like that. So what are we going to do today? Uh, today, basically, you are going to be practicing, and let me see, I only have six of you. So, we are going to be working in groups. I'm going to send you in breakup rooms, and what are you going to do? Uh, you, I need you to make up a story, okay, in simple past. You can talk about a real event or a real situation that you live or that you have lived. And it could be about your last vacation or your, for example, last weekend, things like that. Okay. Is it clear what we're going to do? Yes, it's clear. Okay. So I'm going to send it right now to the breakup rooms and I'm going to be there with you. Okay, so let's go. Trabajo, pero bien. Gracias a Dios. Aquí estamos echándole ganas para aprovechar la noche. Sí. Bueno, a empezar entonces. Yes. ¿Quién quiere empezar? Yo ahorita este, todavía estoy tratando de ubicarme. Acabo de de llegar de trabajar. Ah, ya hace poquito voy llegando también. Sí. Ok. ¿Quién empieza? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? What are we going to do? Um, ok. I said that we are going to make up a story. Vamos a inventar una historia. Ok. Entre los tres pueden ah. ver lo que es la historia. Y la historia la pueden basar ya sea, digamos, en lo que ustedes han hecho en su vacación pasada o en el fin 
de semana y así, ¿verdad? Si gustan, pueden omitir este, ¿qué? nombres o pueden inventarlos. Y tratar de usar el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Tanto de verbos regulares como irregulares e igualmente lo que es... No sé. Este, preguntas. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, so I'm going to be with you Thank in a you. few minutes. You're welcome. Um. Really, really bad. Because I was uh, stuck in, in one street and get there a boy who with a gun and he told he told me that he's going to kill us and i don't know how do you say are you there teacher how do you say nos asaltó he's okay. stolen creo he's okay, creo. He's, okay yeah you can say stole he stole el robo stole Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, el robo. Yes. Okay. The boy is telling us and he put a gun. It was a big knife. I don't know how to say the atagan is kind. It's a kind of knife, a big kind of knife. And I I told I told him be quiet, be quiet, don't do it anything bad, we are going to give us, to give you all we have. And then, he, no, he insultó, how do you say? Insult. Teacher, how do you say, él nos insultó? Uh, he insult, insult us, uh -huh. but it was only that he, he, he did us. Thanks God. So, I was talking about Last vacation, I decided to learn how to drive, and I was uh, parking on the street when a boy uh, se nos acercó. came and he got into the, he came and he got into the car with a big. And he, he, he began to insult us and he hit me here because he was, uh, to say, nervous. He was nervous, he was nervous and we was very, yes, he was really nervous. I think that he was drunk, uh, drunk. I think that he was, because here we live is, um, something dangerous and then it was happened it, it was a, a terrible terrible experience but thank god we are here that's what happened i see wow that's kind of unbelievable Yes, it was terrible. I didn't want to be alone in the in our car because I feel that somebody gets there. I always, I always am nervous when I am alone in, in our car. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, um, I can see that some people are just joining the class, so I need to assign them to a breakup room. I'll be with you in a few seconds, okay?
Hello, what happened here? Hello, ahí vamos, haciendo nuestra historia. Hi, teacher. Ah, ok. Sí, estamos haciendo nuestra historia, estamos fabricándola ahí, a ver cómo nos queda. Ok, excelente. And I have then before we ate dinner. Mm. What do you mean with then before? Before working, maybe. And y sí, porque si yo traduzco eso es como que me dijera luego después o luego antes. Yeah, no, luego antes. Nosotros comimos o cenamos, ¿verdad? Yeah, so probably you should an offer an after dinner. We went to a party. Okay. Por ahí vamos, Batiche. <laughs> sí, pero ese open, no mucho. Okay, so if you want to use time expressions, you can use then. I can see that that's one that you have. Um, later, it's another one. Um, let me see. You can say the next day because we're uh -huh. talking about past. Or you can say last week last month, last vacation, um, let me remember another one. Ah, you can say yesterday. Uh, let's see another one. Okay. Yes, those are sometime expressions that you can use. Later, then, after that, Okay. Okay, because, teacher. Okay. Yeah, because sure. remember that we are talking in simple past. Okay, so I'll go to the other group and see how they're doing. cortado, pero no se escucha bien todo. Yo creo que me había confundido, yo pensé que íbamos a hacer una historia todo, pero ¿será que puedo contar la mía? Yes. Please. On my on my last vacations, I traveled to Nicaragua and I ate a lot of food of Nicaragua, a typical food of Nicaragua and I went to the beach and I bought a lot of gifts for gift for my family and I knew knew creo que se dice conocer conocí mm -hmm. uh, a lot of, uh, knew I knew uh, different places of Nicaragua and I went to the puerto and it was a very good experience. It's nice. I went to Nicaragua three years ago. I went specifically to Salinas Grandes. I don't know if is you know Salinas Grandes. No, I. Where, where do you, did you go? I went uh, to San Juan del Sur. San Juan del Sur. Yes, San Juan del Sur. I, I knew in Nicaragua only Salinas Grandes, also is a beach, but it's, it's, not, it's not nice. 
the people is really poor in this place in this beach people does thing have the people no people don't have water don't have houses they are really poor i don't like that kind of uh, live in, in nicaragua but i was in i don't know how this i don't remember La comarca, una comarca. I don't know how to say. How, how, how do you say comarca, teacher? Okay, so every I'm Hello. here. Yes, I'm here. I was just listening to you. Okay. I'm listening to your stories. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, and I was just assigning one of your classmates. You said, how do you say comarca, right? In English. Comarca. Okay. Yes. Okay, give me a few seconds. Because uh, I was in Nicaragua, in Comarca El Rosario. In a region. How do you say? Excuse region. Me. Region. Yes, I just send it to you. Yes, uh, and I was listening to Daphne and she said that she bought some gift. Um, vaya, cuando son así tipo recuerdos que uno trae de diferentes países, ahí nosotros podemos usar lo que es la palabra souvenirs. Ah, que no, no, me, no me acordaba de esa palabra. That's okay, don't worry about it. Y digamos, cuando, o sea, se ocuparía regalos, ¿en qué, como que, digamos, por Navidad o algo así? Or for birthdays too. Yeah, oh, but okay. most of the time the souvenirs are the ones that you can buy, for example, or that are handmade, los que son elaborados hacia mano, como las artesanías, ¿verdad? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for ex oh. Yes, for example, so if you go to that. El Salvador del Mundo, you'll see that there is a souvenir store and they sell lots of things that are uh, that are for our country. For example, they have key rings, um, let me remember another things, uh, shirts and things like that. Okay, teacher. I <laughs> sorry for my. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I was listening to all of you about your stories, and now we are going to share them, okay? So let's see. Okay, we are waiting for the others. I can see that some of them are missing. And let's see, who's going to begin? Yes, do I have volunteers? I can hear you, teacher. Can you repeat, please? Uh, yes, uh, we are going to start with your story. So I want to know who's going to begin. I need volunteers. Ah, okay. I I can begin. Okay, thank you, Graciela. Okay, let's listen to her. I want you to pay attention to what she's saying. 
And if you can identify a mistake, please let her know, okay? We're going to send any mistake that we can listen to the chat, okay? Here in the chat we have in Zoom, okay? So let's begin, Graciela, please. I will try to explain you what happened to me last vacation. In my last vacation, I decided to learn to drive. And I was driving a car. I'm very happy. But uh, I can I can do it well. The teacher or oh, an instructor told me we have to stop in some area from a, from a big uh, uh, tree. We are we were looking a video how to to make the change of la velocidad. And then we are watching the video when I don't know where was that man, but he get go into the car with a big knife and he he hurt me my my head and he said all the time that he he was going to kill us because he wanted we gave him money but i don't have much money i only have five dollars and i told him um, que lo tomara lléveselo pero no nos mate pero but thank god he only hurt us my teacher and me were very nervous then that i couldn't learn to drive because i can drive my car because i i came to be alone in my car now only my husband continues driving that was okay graciela thank you for sharing that experience you had and believe me that we are sorry to hear that as well um so i don't Okay, I just need you to tell me if you would like you to give us feedback right now or till the end. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear because my internet go, come, go, come. I okay. tengo mala la señal, entonces partes se escuchaba y partes no, partes se iba y partes no. Can you repeat me? Yes, um, if you would like us to give you feedback right now or till the end. Si le hacemos la retroalimentación ahorita o hasta el final, que todos hayan pasado. Oh, if you can now, for me, better. Okay, excellent. So, let's see. Um, I need you, uh, for example, Sarita, Daphne, Christopher, um, Sara, Kate, Karen, and Beatriz to tell her if you were able to identify any mistake. No. Okay, so no mistakes. Okay. Okay, so I'll give you my feedback. Um, when you say lléveselo, tome. You can use the verb take that in past is took. Okay, took everything you want. Okay. okay. Um, can, el pasado del can, could. Okay, could. could. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you are using it in negative form, I couldn't. For example, when you said that you couldn't drive, que no pudo conducir, I couldn't drive. Okay. And that would be basically, okay? But then, excellent. Thank you. Thank so you. let's see who's Thank next. Okay, Graciela, tell me a number from one to, let me see, from one to seven. Seven. 
Seven. Okay. Kate, you're number seven. Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay, so we're going to listen to you. And the others, if you can write down um, any mistake that you can identify, please do it. O sea, aquí no es que nos vamos a criticar ni nada, sino que es también una forma de ver o de nosotros, ¿verdad? Identificar errores que la otra persona está cometiendo. No es así que por ser mala onda o que lo vamos a criticar o la vamos a criticar. No. ¿Ok? So, begin, please. Ok. Ok. Our weekend. On Saturday, we began working too late. And other dinner, we went to a party. And we end up on Sunday watching movie and eat popcorn. Finish. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so how, how many mistakes were you able to identify or was everything okay? I identified one. Okay, one. What, what was it? Uh, she said I eat pork. Ah. It could be I ate, I ate pork. Okay, thank you. Yes. Part of Excellent. That is something that I was able to write down. Thank you. And I also noticed another one that you said N. Uh, since this verb ends in D, remember that we are going to add the ED and the it ending. So it's not going to be end, it's going to be ended. Okay. A este verbo le agregamos una okay. sílaba extra porque termina en de. Recuerde que dijimos que si los verbos terminaban en de o en te, se le agregaba el ed y para la pronunciación se le agrega una sílaba más. Ok, so we ended. Ok, teacher. And, como decía ended. Graciela, el pasado de it es eight. Thank you. Ok, okay. so Kate, okay, tell me a number from one to six. Five. Five. Okay, Beatriz. Hola. Okay, so can you begin with your story, please? Hola. <laughs> uh, I can... mm. Bueno, solo voy, eh, voy a contar algo que me pasó nada más en, en la vida. Es cortita. Ok. Uh, this, uh, I traveled to Mexico last Christmas and I visited many places, but in Fortunate. Infortunary, no sé muy bien cómo se pronuncia infortunary, eh, lamentablemente. Um, I had problems with immigration. Solamente. Only that? Ok. ¿Perdón? Eso fue todo. Okay, so we have the first one traveled. Remember the pronunciation traveled, and the word that you were trying to say, unfortunately, 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 unfortunately. yeah, so unfortunately, you had problems with immigration you said right okay uh, were you able to identify uh, any other mistake
Clara? No, that's okay, Beatriz. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think that we what we are going to do is the following. Okay, we have listened to three different stories. So what we are going to do right now is this. I'm going to begin with Sarita. Okay, so Sarita, you are going to start telling us something that happened to you. And then I'm going to stop you. Okay, and another classmate will continue with your story, okay? Vaya, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es que va a iniciar Sarita. Ella va a comenzar a contarnos una historia, ¿verdad? Que le haya pasado a ella y luego yo voy a decir quién va a continuar contándonos esa historia. ¿Ok? O sea, vamos a inventarnos el final de la historia de ella. ¿Yes? Yes. Ok, so, begin. I, este, I, um, in the, in the Saturday has a... Uh, Fumigation campaign, but este, in the afternoon, uh, este, sí, watching, watching TV on my family. Continue, Sarita. And, and, este, it, it, este, um, quiero ver. It, eh, pupusas in the diner. And, on Sunday, este, we we happy happy in family or and uh, in the in the party in house okay thank you continue daphne and then uh, uh, sarita uh, had to vote uh a lot of food like snacks, drinks, and sweets, candies. Uh, then uh, she had to took the bus, and she she invited a lot of friends and her her family. Then <laughs> uh, she she uh, listened music on the party and dance it dance it uh, and she danced it all night. Thank you. Continue, Christopher. Christopher? Hello, I think <laughs> I'm using this whole in the story. Sorry. Um Okay, so basically we're talking about Sarita's party. What happened next? She was dancing all night. So what happened then? Okay, um And Sarita in the party invite a boy. <laughs> oh, 
for dancing. And Uh huh. Um, they and they went dance. It. I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Christopher. Continue, Sara Martinez. The Paris is is good. Uh, I I how is good on on cookies, um, gray and chocolate and coffee is. Thank you. Continue, um, Graciela. Okay. Uh, during the next day, Carita had a headache and a stomach <coughs> because she ate too much and she tends too much. Now, Carita is Carita thought that she didn't do anything because she had to go to the doctor and the doctor said that she had to rest because it was too much for a week. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's see, Kate, continue. Uh, then Sarita, uh, <sighs> Go to the doctor. Uh, uh, but her to rest. I sleeping. <laughs> okay, thank you. Christopher, you I vi que había levantado la mano. No, pero Ah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Beatriz. Continue. No entiendo muy bien lo que están haciendo, la verdad. Okay, yeah, Sarita started telling us a story and we are making her story up. O sea, ella comenzó a decirnos una historia y nosotros le hemos ido inventando. Okay, entonces usted debe continuar esa historia. Mm. Okay. Es que no sé cómo seguirle. Yeah, so she went to the doctor, that's what Graciela said. Um, the doctor told her to rest because she ate too much and danced a lot. Kate was saying that she had to sleep 
because of the patty. So what else? Uh, uh, como algo que uh, uh, inventar como que algo hizo así. Oh, no sé, Sarita o cheese went to the market for fruit, fruit, fue por, por el mercado, por fruit, no sé. Fruits. Ok. Fruits. Yes, thank you. Um, ok, you could see that I have sent to the chat uh, some things that I was able to identify, for example, um, let me see. The first one is, remember that when we are talking about days of the week, the preposition that we are going to use is on, not in, okay? So on Saturday night or, sorry, on Saturday, I had, because we're talking in past, I had a party, for example, or I had um, a meeting, for example. Uh, then we have um, in the party at house, we happy. Okay, we are going to study the simple past tense of the verb to be next week. But remember that when we are talking about mood, feelings, uh, we are going to use the verb to be. In this case, if we're talking that estuvimos felices or fuimos felices, we would say we were happy, okay? Um, I have a question. What do you mean with bold? Con la palabra bold. ¿Qué querían decir ahí? De votar, tirar, o qué? You don't remember? No? Okay, vaya. Para la persona que dijo bow, si lo que quería decir era tirar o botar basura, por ejemplo, o botar algo, el verbo que vamos a usar es throw. Okay? And the simple past for that one is through. Okay, another one I was able to listen is had to took the bus. Como estoy usando lo que es el had to, es decir, un auxiliar, no voy a usar el took, sino que tengo que usar el verbo en su forma normal. Take. She had to take the bus. Okay? Then we have she danced all night. Recuerden que estamos usando verbos regulares y hay que usar también lo que es la pronunciación correcta. Uh, me decían, she invite a boy, she invited, igual, tiene que ir la pronunciación de esa sílaba extra, ¿verdad? She invited a boy to dance and they went to dance, for example. The party was good. Uh, then I was able to listen, chocolate, no es chocolate, is chocolate, okay, and coffee. The pronunciation, fruits. Okay, so I'm not sure if you have any questions for this. No? No teacher, no question. Okay, and the others? No question. Okay. Uh, I know that we need a lot of practice, especially with the pronunciation for regular verbs in simple past. Also, we need to continue learning irregular verbs. Something that Graciela was explaining to me at the beginning is that she's making lines. O sea, ella está haciendo ahí sus planas, pero está haciendo líneas repitiendo los verbos en su forma presente, pasada y participio, lo cual me parece. O sea, es un ejercicio que a ustedes les va a ayudar bastante. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí se van ustedes recordando, van aprendiendo y, y escribir de forma correcta lo que son los verbos en su forma pasada y participar. 
So what we are going to do right now is the following, okay? If you remember yesterday, we were practicing that you were saying one sentence, the other person said the same sentence, but in negative, in its negative form. And the next one uh, was saying the sentence, but into its question form. And that's what we are going to do, okay? So I'm going to begin with K. Can you tell us an affirmative sentence using an irregular or regular verb, please? Que haga preguntas afirmativas y negativas. No, only an affirmative sentence using regular or irregular verbs. Mm. Teacher, no lo entiendo. Va a ser una oración <laughs> afirmativa. No va a okay. ser una oración afirmativa usando un verbo regular o irregular. Ok. Um, um, did you have... Um, Did, did, you, no. did you have a uh, hungry? Hungry? Mm, what do you no. mean? Tú tienes hambre. Ah, okay. Hungry is. How can I explain this? Cuando hablamos de hambre, estamos hablando de un estado de ánimo o de un sentimiento, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí no utilizo lo que es el verbo have. En español sí, nosotros decimos tengo hambre o inclusive con la edad tengo, por ejemplo, 25 años. Pero en inglés no usamos el verbo have, sino que usamos el verbo to be. En el caso okay. que digamos yo ahorita tuviera hambre, it would be uh -huh. I am hungry. Ok. Ok, ok. Entonces, uh, did you play uh, football? Okay. Did you play football? Okay. Thank you. Uh, continue, Beatriz. Uh, podría ser uh, eh, my sister study uh, her her book my sister my sister study her book study she, or study Uh, estudió, uh, my sister studied. Okay. My sister studied her book. She failed her exam. She failed. 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 Suspendió. Failed. Okay. Her exam. Okay. Thank you. Uh, continue, Daphne. Tengo que dar una oración uh, pues, afirmativa. No, en el caso suyo sería negativa. Negativa. Yes. Eh, my sister didn't study for her, her exam. Ok, thank you. Christopher, continue. In affirmative, right? Yes. Okay, um, I did work yesterday. I did work or I worked? I did. Okay. ¿Qué hizo? Work. 
Mm, ahí me está diciendo yo hice, trabajé. You only have to use one verb. Tiene que usar solamente uno de esos okay. dos verbos. I worked it on Sunday. Okay, I worked on Sunday. Work on Sunday. Okay, thank you. Continue, Sara. Sara Martinez, continue, please. Okay, I don't know what has happened to her. So, Sarita. I, uh, sentence affirmative? Negative. Uh, negative. I am not poor on Saturday. Um, okay, you're using the verb to be in simple present. Está usando el verbo to be en presente simple y estamos en pasado. Uh. Remember that the auxiliary we use in simple past is I was didn't. I didn't know, I didn't work on Saturday. Okay, excellent. Um, Graciela, a question. Uh, Christopher work on Sunday. Okay, excellent. Sara, can you hear me? Teacher, uh, teach the, the teacher and um, and our teacher Arely is a class a school. Okay. The English. Okay, thank you. La oración me la está diciendo en presente. Me comprendió. Sí Ajá. se entiende el mensaje, pero nos puede decir la oración en pasado, por favor. Porque la hizo en presente. I have. Okay. I I have. It is. In the. Class. The, the English on Sunday. Okay. So you can say that I had my English class on Sunday. Okay. Like this. I had my English class on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, okay. I can see that we need to continue practicing, especially when we are speaking. Veo que nos hace falta práctica, ¿verdad? La hora de hablar. Este, el día lunes estaría, no, perdón. Ya que los tengo acá, el lunes martes. no tenemos clase, correcto. Hasta el martes, oh, perfecto. Martes. Sí, lunes no hay clase, hasta el día martes estaríamos realizando oh. una práctica, ¿verdad? Y vamos a iniciar lo que es la sección 5, ya lo último. Así que vamos a tener fin de semana largo, por decirlo. Van a tener viernes, sábado, domingo y lunes para repasar los verbos. E igualmente, ¿verdad? Para ir aprendiendo o practicando. Les voy a estar enviando lo que es una tarea, ¿verdad? Para que practiquen la forma afirmativa, negativa e interrogativa en el pasado simple, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, alguna... Teacher. Sí. Ok, teacher. Teacher, ¿yo? Sí. Eh, no he podido accesar, no he podido accesar a la plataforma, teacher, para avanzar en los ejercicios. 
Ah, uh, sí, este, ahorita hemos tenido problemas, ¿verdad? Con la plataforma que inclusive yo estuve intentando ingresar y no pude, ¿verdad? Ya eso se ha reportado con los de soporte técnico y ellos están trabajando en eso para darle una pronta solución. Así que no es, bueno, no ha sido la única, okay, todos estamos teacher. teniendo problemas, pero sí, ya, bueno. es, ya se está trabajando en ello. Ok. Vaya, si no hay okay, dudas teacher. o algo más, nos quedaríamos hasta acá y nos vemos hasta el día martes. Ok. Ok, okay teacher. teacher. Okay, so thank you for seeing. Bye bye. We'll come and see you on Tuesday. Good night. Bye. Everybody.